Uh, Christina has prepared um, uh, some pointers and tips and uh, maybe some insight into what she's been handling lately for her own house business, which is the dispositions. And uh, Christina, if you're ready, we can get you going here and just share what you got here today. I should have brought this up before we went to Q&A. So I apologize Hi. for that, Christina. Hey, how's it going? That's okay. Thank you. This is kind of a good segue uh, having Ian say that because a couple of my tips and tricks uh, for when you have your property out there and you're waiting for those buyer's leads to come in, um, you just, number one, want to make sure to get back to people as soon as possible. Um, I like to text immediately and then I go ahead and call them. And some people are like, oh yeah, oh my gosh, I want it, you know, I want more information about that house. And um, there, um, at first it may be a little intimidating to go out and call all these people, but don't be intimidated. It's, it's part of the game, you gotta do it. And it actually becomes fun after a while, after you sit down and, and you really make people happy sometimes. Sometimes you don't make them happy, but that's okay. You just always put a smile on your face and go yeah. on. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, like in regard to Ian, um, we all miss things and we all, we just have to slow down a little bit, do one thing at a time and then you'll just see this outpouring of these leads come in. And in regard to the two month old leads, don't be afraid to call those. They probably were like, oh my gosh, is that still available? Yeah, I want that. So yeah. um, you just never know. Um, so one was uh, don't be afraid to call these people. Uh, two, if you've got the Mojo dialer, which we have, it's amazing. I love to set it up and just let it go. I don't even know who I'm calling because, and I find that's the best thing to do. For example, yesterday I had this woman who was interested in one of our properties and I had talked to her about a month ago and then three weeks ago and then two weeks ago. And she really wants this property, um, but she wouldn't call me back. And I'm like, she just disappeared out of the blue. And all of a sudden uh, she's calling or I, I see Mojo calling her and I'm like, oh, okay, let's see if she answers. <laughs> she did. And she's still really interested. She said that, you know, because of things it, going on uh, in the world, the virus, it slowed her down and she doesn't have enough money. And I said, well, let's see what we can do. We'll put something together. She said, okay, I'm going to get on the call. I'm calling someone right now to see what I can do about this. Call me tomorrow. So I'm supposed to call her today. So we'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, don't be afraid to call those old leads. And the Mojo Dialer, it just calls whoever you've possibly talked to in the past and who may still be interested. So I always, I love that Mojo Dialer. It just calls whoever. And then it's so quick to just plop your voicemail down. You don't have to, da, 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 you know, same thing over and over again. It gets a little monotonous, but with the dialer, it just goes and plop the voicemail, plop the voicemail, plop the voicemail, and you just continue. So you get a, a huge amount of calls in and a lot of um, touches that way. Um, let's see. I also, when I'm in the Mojo dialer, for example, I like to um, have an, a specific voicemail for each property that I'm calling about because of course you're going to have a ton of properties. Um, you, I like to have a voicemail uh, for 521 Southwest, you know, 415 New Camp, uh, just every single property. So when I'm calling them, they know, oh yeah, that's the property I called about and hopefully call me back. Uh, let's see, make sure to put your number in. <laughs> And slowly, I get so many messages from people. Thank goodness for, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, number, that where you can see their number. Uh, you know, they, um, they don't leave their number or it's too quick and you don't know what number it is and you're like, oh no. So just make sure to say that really quick, really um, so people can hear you and understand what you're saying. Uh, let's see. And for example, if someone is just in a bad mood and they want to take it out on you, don't take it personally, of course. Just keep going. 
you know, you got to have thick skin and don't be afraid. And of course, post your property everywhere, everywhere you can. Facebook, Marketplace, um, Craigslist, um, neighborhood sites in that area. And hopefully you'll have a lot of success. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you very much. And just sure, so you guys know, pleasure. Christina, yeah, sorry, just so you guys know, Christina's a rock star in the whole like disposition slash leasing. She leased up, what was it, 76 properties in one month uh, at yeah. her last company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a go getter. All by herself. Just, yeah. Yeah, I, it, that was awesome. Um, I worked for a large company corporation uh, throughout the United States and they originally had eight people and then they decided to go down to um, just six and I was the last one in the Columbus office. And um, I just, I was so excited because of course, the more you work, the more you, more deals you get and the more you get paid. So it's just you know, bring it. I was so excited, but then they had a massive layoff, <laughs> <laughs> which is a bummer, but you know, it brings bigger and better things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I appreciate you sharing all that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And just as a reminder, if you guys need some assistance in selling your properties, that's what we're here for. So Christine is available. You can uh, box her, reach out and I, uh, you can schedule, uh, this is on the apprentice side, you guys can schedule a one-on-one -on -one call uh, with her. And we probably should have Christina do a, uh, and, and her, her pet dog there. So. <laughs> she keeps uh, wanting to come over and say hi. So I was like, okay, we'll bring her over. <laughs> Toto. So Christina and Toto will get on the phone with you. Uh, we should probably have Christina do a video and we can put it up about some of these methods as a yeah. good reminder. Yeah, we can get together just, later and, and uh, we'll work on that. Sure, yep. no problem. And that's, keep in mind, that's on the apprentice side. You know, unfortunately, we've got everybody together now, so it doesn't apply to the pipeline folks, but the apprentice side. Yeah.